but a moment only. That dear point of light we know as George Herbert Walker Bush dimmed, but it now shines brighter than it ever before has. And now this godly man, this servant, this child of God is in the loving arms of Barbara and Robin and the welcoming arms of our Lord who embraced him with his divine love. Some have said in the last few days, this is an end of an era, but it does not have to be. Perhaps it's an invitation to fill the hole that has been left behind. The president so loved his church, he loved the Episcopal Church, he so loved our great nation, he so loved you, his friends, he so loved every member of his family, but he was so ready to go to heaven, and heaven was so ready to receive him because he lived those two great commandments. If you want to honor him, and if you call yourself a daughter or a son of God, then love God, love your neighbor. There's no greater mission on planet Earth. My hunch is heaven, as perfect as it must be, just got a bit kinder and gentler, leaving behind that hole for you and me to fill how? Preach Christ at all times. If necessary, use words. So, Mr. President, mission complete. Well done, good and faithful servant. Welcome to your eternal home where ceiling and visibility are unlimited, and life goes on forever. Amen.